All right, we're at the beautiful sea, the ocean breeze. We've got this little baby drone. Just undo it, unclip it. I'm gonna turn it on straight away. Thanks to Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, they put the power button there, a bit inconvenient. So it's asking me some questions before I start. Just hit that close button there and we're good. So I'm gonna be tapping here, take off, holding that. So it's surviving on this wind. It's going off on its own. Let's see. Able to move it. That's a bit nice. It's uh, flying well on this wind. So I guess now, let's just see how good it can go. Facing it straight to the beach. I'm gonna get it to go up in the sky. And there's a tutorial right on my screen. So I exited the tutorial. So now I'm free, free to fly. I'm up right now, 24, 25, 26, 20, 30 meters in the sky. The beautiful ocean looks gorgeous. It's right above me. So I'm gonna hit the forward button and let it rip. Just doing a nice pan of the ocean. Look at that beautiful skyscrapers. Look at that gorgeousness. Look at that right there. You see this beautiful skyline, beautiful buildings. Look at that beautiful ocean. It just looks gorgeous. Gonna get it to do a nice flyby over the ground. Look at that, flying in the air. So currently right now, it's, it's flying about eight meters a second. So I'm gonna switch over to S mode. S mode means high speed mode. It means it can travel a lot faster. So right now at high speed mode, this is uh, going 13 meters and it's kind of breaking up the signal already. So I'm gonna point it towards me. It's caught up, that was a crazy motion. So it's caught up. And distance, we're about 200 meters away, flying along the ocean. It's about four meters a second, heading north. That's uh, against the wind. So getting around six meters a second and forward into the ocean. Nice bit of speed there. We're getting eight meters a second, so it goes a lot, lot faster when you hit on the sports mode. And now I'm heading west, and we can see flying towards the skyscrapers, and it looks beautiful. So we are actually getting some nice control here. It's going to fire up the map so we can see where we are, and there is the map. And the great thing about the map, you can see that it's directly in front of us right now. So you can see it right there, hovering in the sky. So if you just hold it. That beautiful view in a little while it might seem boring at first but after recording a video you can do a time lapse and it will look beautiful so i'm just going to now hit the record button because i wasn't recording all this time and i'm going to do some nice motions for you so first i'm going to hit the forward stick to go forward and i'm just going to be a nice little nice flying motion and usually what i do here is i point the camera down a bit like that so I get beautiful waves okay i just get some nice beautiful waves right in front of me seeing it, it's traveling, you see it right there, just flying up in the sky, just over there. And right now we're about 100 meters away from me. I'm panning up slowly by holding in the left, this one over here. So you can pan down the camera and pan up the camera. So I'm just panning up slowly as I'm moving forward to give a nice little epic view. Another trick you can do is if you fly out into the ocean a bit, give yourself a bit of distance. I'm gonna start off this angle. And I'm going to slowly, because I've given myself a lot of distance between us and the drone, I'm going to do a nice little pan here like that and get a nice, look at that beautiful rotation, movement coming in, looks gorgeous, beautiful sky. And it's pretty much holding up well, about 250 meters away from me. You can see where I am in the map there. And now I'm heading back towards me. The problem the problem is we're going too far is because it's so small, you lose sight of it. So I'm not going to go any further now, but instead I'm going to show you this beautiful building and that's the, the beautiful jewel over there. Give you some nice perspective of what it looks like. So look at this, I'm going to climb up high and look at this gorgeous building. I'm just going to go very slowly up in the sky. 
Look how gorgeous it looks. That means that the background's overexposed. So if I wanted to, I can lower the exposure setting to minus one and lock it in. That way I can see more of the sky and just look at this beautiful building. Just look at it and go all the way, 120 meters in the sky. Look at that beautiful sun. This building's fantastic. It's called the Jewel Gold Coast. And this is the highest we can go, 120 meters. And we can just do a nice little pan down. Just look at this beautiful, gorgeous structure and just have a bit of fun with the world. So I'm just currently flying it along this beautiful coast, endless coast, 300 meters away. And the battery is now officially low. So it's gonna start heading home. We're about 31% battery life. Flight time is officially 30 minutes. That's on P mode. However, on S mode, it's around 20 minutes. And for 20% of that 20 minutes, so five minutes and 11 minutes, it's gonna be beeping. Beep, 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 beep. You must land. So flight time isn't 30 minutes. It's more like 20 minutes or 15 minutes. If you're in S mode, don't let it get too far away. And things can go wrong. So I've, I've got to say, I'm, I'm impressed. This little toy is doing well in this uh, strong wind conditions. It's not that strong but it says strong wind from the start. Obviously when you're by the ocean, the winds get pretty, pretty heavy. And I'm just coming back. It says battery cells under voltage, replace the battery. 11% battery life. This one might come in for a crash landing. I'm trying, but the battery's dying. Can you pick up the stuff and we'll head towards. So one, again, crashing into trees is your biggest issue. And if it's a long tree, happened to me, you're gonna have to not call the fire brigade that is emergency services. You have to call someone called a tree arborist. They have, what's it, a, a tree picker? A tree picker, yeah, and that can climb up and then they'll, or they'll climb the tree and they'll get the drone for you. It costs a bit of money, so avoid trees where you can. Just curb your excitement. You're gonna get excited, avoid it. Trust me, you don't want the pain and suffering. Avoid it. Control yourself, 200 meters maximum distance, fly around, have a good time, don't risk it. And furthermore, battery death. Now this happened to me when I was around 10% battery. It said something is up with the voltage of the battery. Brad, thank you, new battery. So it had issues from the start. It could happen at any moment and that's battery death. And when, once you get that, it will say you have 10 seconds to land your drone wherever the hell it is. That's why you should keep close. That's why you should know, luckily for me, and I was in a, an open space. So I looked around quickly. I saw a massive open space and I landed it right in the bushes far away and then I just quickly ran up and I got it. And uh, you can't fly it, but the lights do still flash so you can pick it up from the bushes where you landed it. So just be aware, if you have a bad battery and the bad battery could be a brand spanking new battery like it happened to me, you will have to perform an emergency landing. That's why I say keep your drone always line of sight and uh, be prepared to land at any moment. So just be aware of these risks when flying it. Landed just over here. It has a nice uh, blinking red light. Still seems good. One thing I say is, so that was, was it about 15 minutes of flight time? So it's not half an hour. It's uh, I guess at most 20 minutes. But yeah, it seems pretty solid. What I recommend is, don't let it get to 20% battery life. Head back at 30% or 50% even. Actually, it depends on the conditions because it was really struggling coming back to me against the wind. So I've got a, a southerly blowing wind. So against the wind, it was only going two meters a second. So yeah, just uh, it's a great drone, but keep it close to you. All right, just got back from the crazy outside world. So what I'm gonna do to just to get rid of any potential particles, especially after that landing, is I'm just give it a nice little dust. Kind of compressed air, amazing. Just be careful around this guy, but just generally. Like me, like 